Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has rolled out an update for the stable version of Edge for Desktop, which rolled out on the 27th, which was once again late yesterday in my region. Now, this is not the security updates that I've just posted on regarding Google Chrome. I'm sure we'll get those a little bit later in the week for Microsoft Edge. This is a maintenance point release update which is common for Microsoft to roll out between major version upgrades. So to double check, we have the update. We head to our main menu, help and feedback about Microsoft Edge. And after this update has been applied, which this process will do if it hasn't already done so, the update pushes the browser to version 122.0.2365.59. So we're dealing with a point release. And this once again is a non-security bug and performance fix update which is common for Microsoft to roll out and once again they also don't give us any specifics in the release notes with this update what this update is actually addressing but if you have experienced any problems since upgrading to Edge 122 then just double check as mentioned your browser is up to date by heading to your main menu and clicking on about Microsoft Edge. Now with that all out of the way I have seen a couple of comments this morning on the channel about a feature I posted on yesterday called Super Resolution, where Microsoft is rolling out its new AI video enhancement feature that will upscale video resolution for clearer and crisper videos in Edge 122. Now, I did notice after this update was applied this morning, which it did first thing when I booted up my system, that if we head to system and, system and performance where the video super resolution is found, and I'll leave that previous video I did post yesterday down below if you want more info, I did notice that the enhanced videos in Microsoft Edge, basically the super resolution, had been removed. And I've also seen one or two comments on the channel. Now, this is very common uh, when Microsoft pushes out new features to the stable version of Edge. They do A-B test it with a limited subset of users. At first, as I mentioned yesterday, it was on a controlled rollout. And I noticed that this point release removed this. But now it's back. And the reason it's back is because I enabled an experimental flag. So if you're not seeing it once again, and this feature has been removed, then what I would suggest is head to your address bar, enter edge colon forward slash forward slash flags. And in the search, just type in super. And here we go. Microsoft Video Super Resolution Enhanced Videos when device is plugged in. Feature requires a capable GPU. Now, I did enable this flag, and then I put it back to default, but I did notice that the feature is still applied. So go try that out, but if it doesn't, this flag will enable the feature if you really want to use Video Super Resolution, because there are reports now, even on the channel, that for some, including myself, it had been removed. And what I would suggest is enable it with mode settings. So that will put everything back to how it was, as I mentioned yesterday in that previous video. So enable with mode settings, and then you'll have to restart Edge 1 to 2 to apply that flag. And then when you go back to your settings, system and performance page, yeah, you'll get um, your enhanced videos in Microsoft Edge with your different three options available for your preferred method of video enhancement. So if you're not seeing it, go enable that flag. Or even like me, I enabled the flag, restarted my browser, the, the feature was there, put it back to default, restarted my browser, and even with the flag disabled, or sorry, back to default, the feature was still there. So maybe you could also have the same kind of luck I did. But nonetheless, just putting it out there because there has been a little bit of confusion regarding this feature. And if anything does change, obviously I'll post and keep you guys in the loop. And that's the latest maintenance bug and performance fix update that's rolled out for Edge 122. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.